Okay, so that's all for the IPv4 address and IPv6 introduction. Now we will introduce what is subnetting. Subnetting means that we can divide one big network into several small subnets. So for example, here, if we use original class B address, then in one network, there will be a lot of IP address. They can provide more than 60,000 IP addresses. But typically in one network, there are not so many hosts. So there will be a large waste for the network address. Then how to use the network address more efficiently? People think of that, okay, we can divide the whole network into several small network. That is subnet, okay? So for example, you can divide them into three or four small subnet and each subnet using certain range of the IP address. So in this way, the broadcasting domain is smaller and the network planning is more reasonable. You don't need to broadcast to so many different hosts and the IP address are properly used. So this is an example of the subnet. We we are given a class C network. For example, this network. Okay, this is the original network segment and they have 8 bit host uh, host bit and 24-bit um, network part. So the network address is like this, and the total IP address will be 254. If we want to divide them into two parts, then actually you can take one more bit to put into the network part, and you have one less bit to put into the host part so that we, ha we can have, have seven bits for host part and 25 bits for network part. So you can see that for subnet one, actually the network becomes this address, right? So this is zero and it is still 192.168.10.0, but the network part are 25 bits for network mask. And for subnet 2, they will start from 1, 0, okay? So 1, 0, 0, 0, until 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So for 1, 0, 0, 0, that should be this IP address, right? 10.128. And the subnet part, the mask is still 25 bit. So this is the new networks. And both of the networks have the new mask, which have 25. So this is the new network mask. And in that case, the number of IP address which can be provided in each subnet actually reduced to 2 to 7 minus 2. So that is 1 to 6. And we'll call this kind of subnet to be the variable length subnet mask. So the subnet mask are no longer only to be 8-bit, 16-bit, 24-bit. They can be any number within 1 to 32, right? So we call it the uh, variable length. So here, for example, they have become 25 instead of originally 24, okay? So in that case, we can calculate the subnet mask address again. So here, for subnet 1, the network address will be this slash 25. And the broadcasting address actually can be 0, put all the host part to be 1, right? So this is the broadcasting address. Similarly, for subnet 2, the broadcasting address should be like this. Okay. Now we have introduced what is subnet and how to calculate the network address and broadcasting address for each subnet. Now we'll give you another example, or you can think of that as a quiz. So the question is that if you are given a class C network segment, 
yeah, this 1.0 slash 24, the, uh, the range of IP address is like this. Then can you use this variable length subnet mask to allocate IP address to these three subnets? So these three subnets actually contains 10 hosts and 30 hosts. So first we need to calculate how many bits are used for each subnet, right? How many bits for the host part? So here we have 10 hosts. So actually four bit is enough because four bit can support two to four, 16 minus two, so 14 number of hosts. So four bit is enough. Yeah, so in that case, we can use this way. So you ha you take four bits for the subnet, for the network part, and only left four bits for the host part. Then this network can be used for subnet one. And similarly, you can change this 00, 0 to be 0, 01 and let the new subnet to be the subnet two, right? So in that case, we can calculate subnet 1 to be 0000, and the number of mask is 28. And for the this subnet, we can use 0001 with this 4-bit left for host bit. So this is subnet 2. And then how about the subnet 3, the 30 hosts? Let's calculate how many bits are used for this subnet. Yeah, so for this one, actually we need we we need six bit because two to six minus two equals to thirty, right? So we need six bits for the uh, for the host part. So in that case, we need to use all these six bits for the host part, and then the first two bit to represent the network part together with these 24. So together there should be 26 and the network address will be like this, right? This is one way to represent it. Actually, you can use any other uh, net network. For example, you can let these two bits to be one one, right? Or these two bits to be one zero. That's all possible allocations. Okay. But this is a possible solution for this question. But the solution is not unique. You can write any other kind of allocation. Mm -hmm.